Welcome back to Gaming with Marty. You are here for another episode of LSPDFR, aren't you? I know, I got my ways of telling. Today we are out in Blaine County with an unmarked TRX Ram. Hopefully we catch a couple criminals by surprise. And uh, we'll get out here this uh, Recording in the morning, but we'll just call it a uh, daytime shift, daylight shift, first, second shift, or first shift rather. So, without further ado, let's get right down to the action. Show me 1041. Copy that. 5 King 14. Begin patrol. First time pulling this ram out. Definitely looks nice though, I'll give it that. Let me actually fix the keyboard real quick. Tactical keyboard to the controller. Sometimes it syncs up and I turn the control on, sometimes it doesn't. And we should be good. There it is. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, take a look around. There's videos for learning how to go about customizing LSPDFR. We got patrol videos for all of the departments, all of our major policing departments within San Andreas. And you also might find some videos from you know other games that may pique your interest as well. Here over here again with Marty, we try to cater to uh, everyone. I'll say one of the few channels that try to make everybody happy. So we spotted partner pointed out something a little bit suspicious to me when I was going around this corner. So we'll swing back around, see what he pointed out. Show me 10 6. Acknowledged. 5 King 14. Looks like the lady in this vehicle possibly is up to something. Requesting 1028. It's going to follow 01 Victor Sam Tango 352. Target's license plate, 01 Victor Sam Tom 352. Riley Green, no flies on her or the vehicle, but we'll see exactly what's going on with her. Interaction. What happened, miss? I think we may have ran out of gas. Okay. Don't have a jerry can on me at this point. Okay, dude, would you like me to call a tow truck, miss? do not have jerry can on me unfortunately do me a favor can you go stand in front of my vehicle please Uh, 
don't necessarily have a jerry can on me miss so i'm not sure how we're going to do this i can get you a uh, taxi or an uber that i can pay for and then you know from there we'll still have to get the vehicle towed it can't necessarily be sitting on the street yeah i don't have that jerry can i do apologize miss So we're just gonna go ahead and get her a uh, taxi right away. Not gonna waste her time or anything. Damn. Hey girl. Hey girl. Requesting 1051 out the postal 3011. We have a uh, vehicle that ran out of gas. Sit tight for a minute until the tow truck arrives. So I'm sure the tow company will call her, let her know, you know, details around how to get her vehicle back, basically. Show me ten eight. Copy that. Five King fourteen. Proceed with patrol. This TRX is definitely nice. I really digging this truck. This is a nice one. Nice and simple way to start the day off. Helping pedestrians that ran out of gas. You know, nothing too major. Let's see what's up with this caddy. Requesting 1028 on a uh, black four-door Cadillac. Follow 02 James Paul Victor 823. Suspect's license plate 02 John Paul Victor 823. A traffic violation. Man, it didn't even stop there. And there's our going to be our probable cause of pulling him over. Speeding as well. Speed limit like there is only 60. Show me on a 10 11. 10 4 5 King 14. Proceed with caution. Roger that. We're on our way. contact here in a second. Let's pull up our terminal, see what's going on. As far as this vehicle. Registration and the insurance on the vehicle are good, but I do believe I think that this license is expired. Started there. I'm 
morning, sir. How you doing today? On your way to hot yoga. Um, can't say that I do, my man. Do you have any idea why I stopped you? Uh, if it's not the Colombian, I didn't smell it. Uh, reason I'm stopping you actually is for multiple reasons. Okay, so the first one was for speed. You were going 10 over while we were coming down Radio Ocean Highway. Right, because you're not allowed to speed, sir, so that would be the reason why I would be pulling you over. And in addition to that, my system is showing that your uh, driver's license is expired. Well, I'm not too sure about any favors. We'll get there when we do, but for the time being, can you produce your license, registration, proof of insurance, please? Hey, you, you got your ID? Thanks. License definitely is expired. Everything else is fine. Requesting 1027 on a Duffy Luffy. DOB is going to be 6986. Mr. Luffy, <clears throat> I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Huh. All right, so you don't want to necessarily take this to the next level. Do me a favor, my man, and step out of the vehicle, please. Mm -hmm. All righty, well, looks like he wants to take this up to the next level. Mother vehicle, my man. Stop right fucking there! Go down to your knees, man. Better yet, your stomach works as well. Stay there. Not sure what your problem is, man. Just was simply asking you to step out of the vehicle. Get a search on this vehicle, see what's in here. So you got some interesting, uh, you know, an interesting list of elementary schools in the area. Pat him down, make sure he doesn't have any weapons or anything on him. Just a mag. Seven rounds. Not too worried about that. Let's see if we can ask him exactly why he was just, you know, been a little bit combative with us. Oh, difficult you just made things, my dude. Well, could have cooperated in the uh, beginning, basically. Alright, let's figure out what we're going to do with this guy. Today's episode will probably be a shorter one than usual. Uh, he's also on parole for what? Resisting arrest for the use of a threat of a deadly weapon, accessory before the fact as well. So we'll hit him with a violation of parole due to him not even wanting to cooperate with us when we told him to step out of the vehicle. I understand some of the charges that we used to have were not here. I'm actually going to do that right after this episode. So 
well, for the time being, we'll just hit them with that violation of parole and also reckless driving. Uh, expired license isn't an arrestable charge in here, so we'll leave it as that. No need for a description. We'll just go ahead and save that up. Get a unit out here to transport them. Requesting 1016. Assistance required on Great Ocean Highway. Wait for them to show up and then get this uh, caddy off the scene. Requesting 1051 off the postal 3013. One vehicle for removal. Requesting 1051. You shit. You know that? Flatbed. Assistance required in Palato Bay. I'm not sure why she got a uh, Santos police vehicle. Show me 10 6. Roger that. 5 King 14. Thanks. So it looks like my partner pointed something out. Appreciate it. I think he noticed it as we were starting to uh, follow that Cadillac. We'll cut through some alleyways. See if we can't pop up on them. Exactly what's going on. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Didn't even see that. Be advised, got one vehicle occupied one time. Looks like the driver's hot boxing the vehicle. 10 4. Have a quick chat with my guy. Hopefully, he doesn't try to pull off. Ah, that's a lady, an older lady. So is this also going to be shipped though? Nope. Hmm. Alright, let's do it the old fashioned way. Wait up! Let's step out of the vehicle, please. Alcohol, possible intoxication as well. What you up to today, miss? <laughs> well, what I mean is that you were just sitting in your vehicle and it looked like you were smoking. Have you uh, been doing drugs in there? Well, I, it just looks like it, miss. I just have to ask. Also, do you have anything illegal on you? Oh, uh, there might be something in your pocket. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. You. You have the right to remain a dumbass. necessarily have to pat you down now based off your statements and the situation at hand. Requesting female backup. Backup needed in Palato Bay. Get a search of her vehicle real quick and then... Have that feet or female unit actually give her a pat down. So there's a bong she was smoking. Weed leaves on the floor or the driver's side. The bong sitting on the passenger side. 
So we got her for that. <clears throat> We're gonna have the uh, female officers, female deputy stop out to uh, actually give you a pat down. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a breathalyzer test. You're showing possible signs of alcohol intoxication. Go ahead, breathe into this device for me, please. Appreciate it. Hmm. Well over the legal limit. Let's also give her a drug swap test. Thanks. Positive for everything there as well. So we got her well over the legal limit in addition to <laughs> I got your cover. Be on, being high on basically every drug. All right, let's go ahead and get her a pat down. Not sure why that officer did it. Even the only other one standing right there. At least she's here to supervise the situation. Unloaded Navy revolver with a scratch serial number, some rolling papers, Shanice Brown. What what the in school the name Shanice of... 32768. Oh, get out of my way. Requesting 1027, uh... Alright, no warrants or anything. She does have that Navy revolver with the scratch serial number. Paraphernalia. I'm not even gonna hit her with a possession charge. It's an insignificant amount. See if I can ask her about this uh, firearm, bro. Miss, why is the uh, serial number scratched off of this firearm? <laughs> she said, it looks like lack of evidence. That's funny. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get her written up. We got enough to charge her with a few things here. Yeah, look at that. She's on parole as well. Failure stop for blue light, vandalism. So we'll hit her with both violations. But the first violation is for having additional contact with police while being on parole, and then also that revolver with the scratch serial number is a big one too. So we'll have those two. Says her drug paraphernalia. Alcohol. And in addition to that, also narcotics. Miss <laughs> Brown was spotted homologing her vehicle in an alleyway. A firearm. It was later discovered in her possession. So we'll save that. Requesting 1016, postal 3024, one in custody for transport. Assistance required in Palato Bay. You piece of trash. And that is that for that one. See if we can get one more quick one in. I got one of them on beat. Check it now. Actually, let me go ahead and get this vehicle towed as well. Requesting tow truck. Flatbed. Assistance required in Palato Bay. Show me tonight. Roger 
Roger that. Five, King, 14. Proceed with patrol. There we go. Just enough for, uh, for me to pull out. Keep moving. Crime levels have been low out in Blaine County the last couple of days, which is good. We always want crime levels to either be de decreasing or relatively stagnant at a lower level. All units. Suspect is on a uh, Great Ocean Highway. Turn me around. Ten four five King fourteen. Copy that. We're moving Best right now. Called. Somebody's walking around with a gun. See this guy right here, but I don't know. Is that him? Get out, see what's going on there. He's got a weapon! Yeah, he got the gun there. Alright, my man. Hey, what's going on, bro? Put that down for me, please. Thank you. You moron. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Frequency of these storms has to change. Coming in every time now. The National Weather Service in Los Santos has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Los Santos, Los Santos County, Blaine County, until approximately 5 7 we got him. It's a custody now, so we'll get it pat down real quick. See what else he has on him. Swiss pistol, open bottle of beer, open bottle of wine, Lennon O'Reilly. Requesting a 1027 on Lennon O'Reilly, DOB's 112476. Dispatch can get things wrong. Ah, Mr. O'Reilly, you were that close to going. Let me have you walk. <clears throat> so, he does have a warrant for his arrest for vandalism of private property. Let's go ahead and see if you know about that. Go ahead. I mean, uh, let me 
get things situated for you and then we'll get you on your way. <laughs> Didn't mean to pull that rifle out, that's funny. So all the other uh, firearm was his. He doesn't have a previous charge, so he still is able to necessarily be in possession of that. It's just the fact that he has a warrant, so that kind of muddied up the whole situation for him. So we'll just arrest him on that warrant charge. Requesting 1016 out to uh, Postal 3007, in custody. Assistance required on Great Ocean Highway. Uh, I know a forget where it's at in here. No. Until next time, you guys take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.